When a government constricts the rights and freedoms of its citizens, the future and the development of the country will naturally suffer. Globally, we are witnessing serious and escalating challenges to media freedom. The United States stands firmly for the freedom of expression, advocating for press freedom, both online and offline, and ensuring the safety of journalists and media workers worldwide. Unfortunately, these essential freedoms are under threat globally, including concerns raised here in Sri Lanka. When governments intensify efforts to withhold information from the public by restricting internet access and censoring content online, we must speak up. Notably, when Sri Lanka's parliament passed the online safety bill in January, the United States voiced concerns over the potential effects on freedom of expression, innovation, and privacy, something we continue to do privately and publicly. I believe the media's bias should lean towards the public's interest, acting as a guardian to ensure that leaders fulfill their duties. This principle holds in Sri Lanka, in the United States, and globally. The press's duty is to deliver facts as they stand, shedding light on government's achievements, as well as spotlighting where their programs or policies may fall short. This transparency not only informs the public, but also strengthens a nation as it encourages constructive action and improvement. And suppressing voices only complicates matters further. Attempting to conceal issues rather than addressing them is akin to hiding a broken tool rather than fixing it. 